Hey guys, it's your girl Lucy Juicy but never thirsty and this is Juicy Told You. Welcome back everybody. If you're new to my page, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I want to start a new segment, you know, featuring local brands here in South Florida and today I am featuring these amazing eyelashes by your Posh Luxuries. So they are really, really fluffy, dramatic. Um, I got the look here for you, so stay tuned and watch um, me apply this. It's time to do my makeup. I'm going to be using this brand new palette I got from Ulta Beauty. Um, I think it's kind of for the holidays due to the packing. I really want to show you guys it is the um, Revolution Pro All That Glistens Luxe Shadow palette. The packaging is super, super pretty. It glistens. It looks like wrapping paper. Will definitely get you in the holiday spirit. So let me show you the palette. When you open it up, it looks just like the packaging. I love this. Um, on the back, it has a map of all the colors and the names. So that's pretty good to have. So let's take a look. This is brand new. I'm sharing my first experience with this palette with you guys. You can tell because all of the colors have not been broken yet. I still got the film on here. So I'm gonna pop it open right with you guys. And the reason I picked this palette up when I saw it at the store is because of all of the great colors for fall and winter. Look at this green here. This is so pretty. And of course, the red is perfect for Christmas time. And you also got some fun colors for the fall, like this deep color here. It's called Sleet. And Blinked is another color I would definitely use for the fall. So I'm gonna use this to create a look for Thanksgiving for you guys. I am going out tonight for a gala, so I'll have my face beat, but the inspiration for whatever look I come up tonight with is definitely something you can probably do for Thanksgiving. Um, if you are planning, you know, to you, uh, go into your cousin's or auntie's house with a full beat ready for any shade that will be thrown so you can throw it right back. So my face is completely bare. I have not put any moisturizer or anything on it. I'm going to start off with toning my skin with my favorite toner, which is the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel. I just grab a, you know, a round cotton pad and kind of soak it and kind of press it into my skin. You guys know I am a cancer fighter and I'm on chemo and unfortunately one of the side effects of chemo is that your hair falls out, which means I don't have any eyebrows if you haven't noticed, which sucks. But one of the upsides about it is I get to draw on my eyebrows the way that I want it. If I want like something dramatic, I can do that. If I want something subtle, I can do that. So that is a great thing about that. I'm always finding the upside of things. So what I like to use to draw on my eyebrows is a MAC retractable um, eyebrow um, pin here. The writing is completely fade off, but I can still see the color that it was. It's called stud. If it doesn't come out perfect and you don't feel like starting over, do not beat yourself up because there's still hope. You can definitely clean it up when you apply your concealer. I officially got some eyebrows, so now people can tell what kind of emotion I have. I'm surprised. I'm angry. I'm pretty suspicious. <laughs> Don't mind me guys, I'm just clowning around. I hope you guys know skincare is a very important part of having flawless makeup because your makeup will perform better if you have a great base to work with. I'm gonna use a Cetaphil Rich Hydrating Night Cream. If it was a daytime, I would use a day cream with SPF, but it is nighttime, so I don't need anything that has SPS. It's definitely time for me to get another tube of this because I use it a lot and it's my favorite, favorite um, primer. It's by Benefit. 
the pore professional look at this it is almost done guys oh, i gotta get some more stuff but your girl don't got the coins like she used to the side effects of chemo cause a lot of pain it's hard for me to walk sometimes i have emergencies so i cannot work full time anymore i make the type of money i used to which has now caused me a lot of a financial hardships so you know your girl is out here um trying to support herself i'm a go-getter i'm not gonna let cancer really take me from what i'm gonna do with my life that's my decision so if you want to support me um you can definitely shop my boutique that i have it's called sass by juicy and the sass is s-a-s which means stylish and strong describing me a cancer fighter and if you don't like anything on my boutique you can definitely go to my gofundme page and donate anything you feel comfortable with any amount is greatly appreciated or the easiest way to support me is to comment on my um, content like my page even subscribe and share you know help me get out there and that is the easiest way to support me and i would appreciate any of those that you do i am now going to put on my foundation i got the um Mac match master my color right now is a 49 and i'm gonna get a makeup blender and just kind of like you know dab it in you'll notice when i first apply this the color you know was dramatically different from my skin tone and that's because my skin on my face is a lot darker than my neck and chest and when you match your um when you're matching the color of your foundation you always want to try to go with the color of your neck and chest so now you can see like the color is more consistent on this side from my face down to my chest you can definitely tell um from this side that my face is considerably darker than my chest it's a big difference okay so the next step is going to be concealer time i'm going to use the sephora make no mistakes concealer the tube looks like this and the color i'm going to be using is number 14 and i'm going to use the tip of the same beauty blender i have this angled concealer brush which i'm going to use to apply this it's great for getting you know precise location of where you want to apply your product so right now i just want to focus up underneath my eyes i'm gonna bring it down a little bit now i'll use the beauty blender and i want to try to dab it to bring it as close up underneath my eye as possible to give it you know that awake look nothing makes you look more alive than brightening up underneath your eyes it's a perfect hack if you have a hangover if you're sleepy not feeling well just apply some concealer up underneath your eyes and you'll wake right up it's the next best thing to coffee and when you're doing this guys you want to make sure each side matches so you want to make sure each side comes down evenly and goes up your cheek evenly you don't want to end your concealer on this side and then have this side ending further down your face is going to look um not symmetrical and it's just going to look weird it's going to look a hot damn mess so make sure you're paying attention of how um in which directions you are applying your concealer on each side of your face you want to make sure it matches now i'm going to apply some on my forehead my nose my chin and i'm going to do some reverse contouring to make my cheeks you know snatch and my face more slim
So I'm gonna set my concealer with the um, MAC Prep and Prime Loose Powder. And what I'm also gonna do is leave enough excess powder underneath my eyes so when I do my eyeshadow, if there's any fallout, it doesn't stick to the concealer. But don't worry about, you know, the, the fact that it's coming on white. When you sweep it off, it is translucent. Looks like I've been having a little bit too much fun, if you know what I mean. Ooh, that's too much on that side. Whew. You can just take a fan brush to just sweep away the excess. Again, I'm gonna leave the excess underneath my eyes because I'm gonna be doing my eyeshadow next and I want it to catch any fallout. Now I'm gonna put concealer on the base of my eyelids so my eyeshadow can really, really pop. I am going to do my whole eyeshadow look with just the colors from this palette. This whole idea is making me nervous because I don't know how well these shadows will perform. And I am used to dipping in between different palettes when I do an eyeshadow look. I don't usually just use one palette. I just wanted to do that with this palette for this video in case someone that doesn't have a lot of palettes to work with, you may be a beginner, I don't know, or you may not even have the other palettes that I may um, use alongside this. So if you go out and just get this palette, um, you can recreate this look I'm about to do. If the look looks horrible, you don't have to <laughs> recreate it, okay? So this look I'm gonna create is definitely gonna be for the sassy lady that is gonna go to this family function with the most nicest outfit on, with smelling the best, looking the best, and some other cousins might hate on her or not. Who knows? So let's start off with this color called Glitch. I'm gonna use this brush here. It's curved and flat, perfect for a precise um, application. Well, this color here at the end is, you know, titled Base. It has like a creamy texture. Uh, it's kind of probably, you know, perform like a primer. So, I'm gonna grab one of my dense synthetic brushes to apply this to the base of my eyelid. It definitely, it comes off like a cream. This is perfect for, for a primer. I think this is really thoughtful that they put a shade here that is great for priming and, you know, holding on to your color. A lot of palettes don't have that. So I really appreciate the thought of that on this palette, especially if you are a beginner and you don't have a primer or a concealer, this would be a great start. I always recommend this palette for beginners. It is the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach Palette. Um, the reason I recommend this because it has a lot of natural tones that is safe to play with. And if you feel like, you know, um, taking a few more risks and chances, you got some great deep, you know, um, vibrant colors to experiment with on this end. I'm gonna move on to this color, it's called Storm. This is so pretty. I don't know if you can tell, it kinda has like a shimmer to it. If you can see, there's like little silver specks in it. Perfect for the holidays. So I'm gonna grab a little tapered, fluffy brush to apply it. And I am definitely taking a chance here, guys, because I don't ever, ever, um, do colors underneath my eyebrows. I usually do colors on my lid. So this is new to me too. But let's do little circles to make sure it's a smooth application and it's evenly um, distributed. The next color I'm going to use is gonna be this color called Clink. And it's this like wine looking color right here. I'm definitely gonna be drinking some wine for Thanksgiving, so let's go with this color next. 
I'm gonna use this type of brush if you have anything like it. It's extremely stiff, rounded, great for packing on color. You don't wanna do something um, fluffy when you're trying to do something more precise. These colors are not as vibrant as I like them to be, but it wasn't an expensive palette. I think it was $20. So I can't complain because you're kind of getting what you're paying for. Um, you know, comparing to like other palettes that can cost like 80 to like even over $100. This is not bad. This is coming off as more Christmas actually. This red and green. Hmm. So with the same brush, I'm going to darken up the outer corners of my eyes using this dark green color called Yield. So now I'm gonna go in with that first fluffy brush and kind of just blend everything out. Unless you're doing like a cut crease, you really do not want to have any harsh lines. So blend, 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 ladies. Merge those colors together. I really wanna see how this glitter performs. It's called Banner. When I tried to swatch it on my hand, it came out like, not like um, concentrated at all. So I'm gonna wet a brush here with some MAC Fix It Prep and Prime Spray. So I'm gonna wet this, the tip of my brush and hopefully I can get like a decent amount of glitter on here. See, so this is how much I got onto the tip of the brush. Let's see how much I can actually get onto my eyelid. Okay, it's coming off pretty good. Ooh. I really like that. <laughs> that is so pretty. Nice. Oh, yes. Yo, girl, gonna get a man tonight. <laughs> She's gonna get a boo tonight. Where you at, baby daddy? Where you at? I'm gonna use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So this is what it looks like. It I have no idea which one it is. Obviously, the branding and writing is faded. So I'm just, it's just a, it's probably just a regular, you know, eyebrow pencil or eyeliner. I have no idea, but I'm gonna um, apply it to the waterline of my bottom lid. So now we're gonna clean up my face and take off the excess prep and prime powder. You can just do that with the same fan brush that I showed you earlier. So next step is to set the rest of our face. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix um, press powder. And I got like kind of a fluffy um, brush here. Don't really know what to call it, but I love using this to apply my powder. Time to do our cheeks, guys. And since we're using a Revolution eyeshadow palette, I figured why not use a Revolution um, blush palette since I already have one. It is the Sugar and Spice palette. When I pick out a blush, I like to kind of put the shades next to the eyeshadow to see what most complements it. So I think I'm gonna go with this color right here. I just got a fluffy brush. It is not my favorite um, to use for blush. I can't really afford a good um, blush brush right now but this will do the job i've had it for many years and i can't complain 
I'm just gonna apply my blush into circles, trying to focus on the cheekbone line and bring it up here, kind of like up towards the edge of my eyebrow. And I'm going to contour using the MAC Matte Blush in the color Film Noir. It's like this really deep wine color and it comes off really good on chocolate skin. It's great, 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 great for contouring. And I got a tapered uh, brush here. See how that just makes the face look a lot more slim? Look and snatch. And I use the same color, but this time with a tapered brush and kind of like, I'm gonna start from the corners of my eyes and just bring this down to the tip of my nose. You don't wanna use a lot of color on here because it's gonna make your nose look bruised, like you got punch in the face or something. See? Makes your nose look a lot smaller. All of the product I was applying was going to, you know, kind of erase the eyebrows. So I'm just gonna redraw and um, redo all of the areas that were um, messed up. And then you hear Rotsky in the back. So what I'm gonna do is kind of bring the um, color of the green kind of like closer to my bottom eyelid. I really wanna use like something like this that's angled and really, really flat. I'm definitely gonna use like the darker color that we worked with. Now it is time to highlight one of my favorite, favorite steps. I'm gonna bring out the same blush palette that we used from Revolution with a really fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this color on our cheeks. So let's use this color to highlight. When I highlight, I like to use little, little circles into the direction I'm going into. This, the highlight in this palette is not really intense. It's pretty natural. So if you really want like a uh, strong finish, you're gonna have to build the intensity. I really don't want an intense highlight because my eyes are already intense. Put some on the tip of my chin and the tip of my nose. Rudolph the red nose reindeer and on the bow of my lip. So in this next step is something I want to start doing on my channel, which is um, featuring local businesses in my community to give them exposure and, you know, let you guys know about their products and brands and how to reach out and support or purchase it. So everything I experience or share with you is going to be my natural and honest feedback, okay? Um, so I'm gonna put on my eyelashes and the brand that we're gonna feature on my channel today is called Posh Luxury Lashes. And it is by a young lady here in South Florida named Alicia Todd. I wanna take a moment to really, really commend you on the branding and packaging of your product. Before I even try on your eyelashes, I can definitely tell you took a lot of time to be thoughtful about your branding and the packaging because you, I'm sure you want to stand out against the endless, endless brands of eyelashes. This packaging is so cute. And on the back, it has all of her social media listed, her phone number, and 
it says on the bottom cruelty free made with love that's so sweet her branding is like a pink and gold package and this is so cute guys so it opens up and the eyelashes are sitting in this glittery um inside here which is i swear to you guys this is a coincidence it matches the uh, packaging of the revolution eye palette that i just used so it was meant to be for me to use these eyelashes tonight this is so awesome um she has a lot of different um styles of eyelashes i will put in the description box which one this is but i definitely wanted something um dramatic and intense and fluffy so this is definitely that and you can tell oh my god these are amazing okay where's my tweezers at i gotta pull these out so you guys can see the, the fluffiness it's not just like one layer look at that i don't know oh i need a background so you guys can see this clearly look how fluffy that is it's so fluffy i'm gonna die it doesn't look um to me before actually applying it it doesn't look you know, like those cheap ones that you see on the counter of a convenience store. I'm gonna use um, Duo Glue and apply like a thin layer. Don't cake up your glue, guys. If you have trouble applying your glue, um, here's a tip. I don't know if you're doing this or not, but what I like to do is let it kind of dry until it becomes tacky don't apply your eyelashes with your glue still wet it's gonna slide um and then there's gonna be glue everywhere it's gonna cake up and you're gonna have trouble um keeping it in position because it's still wet so try putting it on after it dries a little bit this part always makes me nervous um i like to apply it with my fingers you guys let me know how you apply your um, eyelashes if you use, you know, the traditional tweezers or if you use, you know, the tweezers kind of made to apply eyelashes. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know if it's the glue. I don't know if it's the lashes, but they look amazing. I really want this to work. I really, really like it. Um, the glue is just making me a little nervous. I really hope. Um, I applied this good and they stay all night after applying the second one I definitely realized it was the the fact that I had a glitter on there so um and the glue definitely wasn't a problem with the eyelash Ooh, these are like definitely for a confident and um sassy lady like me you know they're definitely dramatic if you're not used to wearing eyelashes you may not feel comfortable with something so intense but i love it like this is amazing time for the final step which is to do our lips gotta make sure they're nice and juicy in case uh, my future baby daddy uh, finds me tonight and wants to kiss me like i'm cinderella so i'm gonna use one of my favorite lipsticks from mac um i can't remember which line this is from but the packaging looks like this. And the thing I like about this lipstick, it is like moisturizing. It is super smooth and it's long wear. And I'm gonna pair it with a lip liner from Ulta Beauty. So we're gonna finish up with our Prep and Prime Spray by MAC. I got the Fix coconut spray it actually smells like coconut and when you apply this make sure like you keep your eyes um closed and don't squint and if you have a fan i suggest you use it or you can just use like a cold envelope like i am right now and you're done So if you guys are interested in these eyelashes from Posh Luxuries, she's actually extending a $5 discount for my 
reviewer. These lashes usually cost $20 with a $5 discount, they'll be $15. So if you contact her on social media or if you call her number directly, you can just let her know that you've seen the Juicy Told You YouTube and you'll get $5 off your $20 lashes. This promotion is only available until January 1st. So if you want to get some really nice eyelashes for the holidays and be dramatic and beautiful, I really, really recommend you contacting Posh Luxuries to get your own lashes. Boo boo. They're really sassy. They're lightweight. They're really, really fluffy. And she does have different types of lashes. So if you're not looking for something as dramatic as this, she does have natural uh, options as well. But tonight, I'm just trying to be extra, okay? <laughs> I'm sassed by Juicy. All right, guys. Um, shout out to Posh Luxuries for these lashes. You guys get your own.